Hello and welcome to the Cottage Cuts YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am going to make a pocket card. This is a really easy fun fold card that is new to me. I'm sure it's been around for a while but really really easy. So I'm starting off with some heavyweight cardstock that has been cut to four and a quarter by 11 and along that 11 inch edge I'm scoring at one and a half inches and five and a half inches. The five and a half inch score line you actually want to fold as a mountain fold, so that's your standard top folding uh, tent card. And then the at the one and a half inch score line you want to fold that as a valley fold. And that section is going to be the front of the card. I'm going to round my corners with my corner chomper here. And that is our card base. Um, more or less complete, cut and, and scored and folded. And I will I will burnish in those score lines just to really make sure that we get nice crisp folds. And then I've selected some pattern papers and some solid color cardstock to decorate the um, the various panels here. So I you can really cut your mats and layers however you like just depending on how much of the card base you want showing but I would definitely recommend for that back most panel you don't have to line the entire back most panel with pattern paper because we are going to glue the um that front section we're going to glue it on the along the left and right hand side to form the pocket. So most of that backmost panel is going to be hidden. So you don't need to actually um, line the full panel with pattern paper. You just need to, if you want it to look as though it's fully lined, you just need to cut a piece that is going to be, um, that will extend beyond the fold of that front panel. And so um, this here is just a piece of scrap that I'm working with, but in general, for this card, the uh, my mats and layers, I've cut to 3 sixteenths of an inch smaller in both directions. So both the width and the height are about 3 sixteenths of an inch smaller than the panel that they will get glued down to. And that's completely subjective so you can you can cut that um to whatever size you like aesthetically and so um and my trimmer has the 16 of an inch clearly marked so it doesn't it, it also kind of i think depends on your um your trimmer and whether whether it's easy to identify eighths of an inch 16 of an inch and um on this particular uh, guillotine it's it's really easy to to work in sixteenths of an inch I've pulled out a few of my um, different corner rounders here I just wanted to see which which size radius works well as the um, as the corner size because often when you're matting on top of a rounded corner the the top layer sometimes needs to be um the corner needs to be a smaller radius than the layer below it and so i was just looking for something that's a close fit but if you don't have multiple sizes to choose from you can just use the same corner rounder that you used on the card base the pattern paper where i'm lining the back panel that's this one right here i've cut that to an inch and three quarter one and three quarters of an inch tall and that's going to be plenty um, because what's visible that section up there is only an inch and a half so this is going to be plenty tall enough to um, to extend down into the pocket making it seem as if it's it, that back panel is fully lined but in reality it's not so that just helps us to save a little bit of pattern paper well quite a little bit actually and I did cut this uh, piece of yellow cardstock again, another piece of scrap that I found that coordinated well. The plaid pattern paper that is um, the one that I'm gluing down right now, it does have a little bit of yellow in it. So I thought I would try to bring some of that yellow into another area of the card. I don't ultimately end up using that uh, that piece of cardstock. Um, 
And in a moment, I'm going to bring in the Cottage Cuts dies that I'll be working with, but now's probably a good time to mention that if you commented on my last video, be sure to open the description box of this video to see if you won the die set that was being given away. And in this video, I'll um, be giving, or Cottage Cuts really, will be giving away the Love Letters die set. You'll see it in a moment. It's a really, really fabulous die set, and I think it's going to be super versatile because technically it's in the Valentine's collection, but as you'll see in a moment here, I'm not actually creating a Valentine's Day card, so I feel like you can really use um, the theming of this die set in a variety of ways. So I've pulled out the Heart XO Windows Slimline die set, which is another fabulous um, die set that, or die that will cut um, a panel to line your Slimline cards with. But I'm actually using it as a heart die cut, or die, to cut out this heart where I've actually scored and folded a piece of cardstock and I made sure that the folded edge was below the top cutting edge. That way it doesn't um, actually cut off the fold and we get a little bit of a hinge. My little twist on this pocket card is that the insert will be tucked into the pocket, but I thought maybe it would be cute to have a portion of the insert sitting or resting outside of the pocket. And so that's what this heart will be. It's going to be the part that actually is going to sit um, outside the pocket where the rectangle portion that I'm working on here will be what tucks into the pocket. And I am working with some pretty lightweight papers, so I thought that it would, it would be good, especially since this is something that's gonna get pulled in and out of the card. Um, I don't want it to be too flimsy because because it'll feel like it's not that substantial and, and it might tear if you if you maybe pull it a little bit too hard. So I'm I'm lining it with this extra panel of white cardstock, which also works out well because that's gonna be where I stamp my sentiment to. And it it can be where I I sign my card, write a little message and sign my card. But really, the um, the main goal of it was to actually use it to hide the hinge or that little glue tab uh, flap of my heart. And that way, we get a really clean finish. The back of the insert is solid uh, color cardstock, and you don't even see that, that hinge. And so that's really the main reason why I added that extra layer but it does serve multiple purposes so it gives the the whole insert a little bit more structure so it feels more substantial and now what I'll do is go ahead and close off our pocket so I lined it with some double-sided adhesive just along that left and right edge. I did put a little bit of liquid adhesive just to make sure that it's nice and permanent. And I, then I just glued it shut. And so you can see our insert fits in perfectly. I didn't give you the dimensions or size of the insert, mostly because I was working with a piece of scrap. But basically, you just want it to be um, maybe about an inch less wide. Um, that way you can use maybe quarter inch or um, or uh, three eighths inch uh, double sided adhesive tape on both sides and still there's a little bit of wiggle room so that it's easy to to pull the insert in and out. And here I've colored up some of the elements that you get from that love letters die and there's a really adorable bird. So here's where I decided to bring in a little bit of yellow. So there's a little bit of yellow um, in that plaid pattern paper. And so I thought this would be a nice touch to, to bring a little bit of that yellow somewhere else in the card. This mailbox is fantastic. So again, this is part of that Love Letters die set. And really, you can use um, the bird, the branch, the mailbox for anything, even though it's got a lot of heart, additional heart elements that you can use to really make it Valentine's themed. 
without all of the hearts, it's just a really nice, um, you know, die set that you can use to build scenes to, in this case, it's, this is just going to be a, you know, just because card for a fellow crafter. So I thought, um, having craft to you drop, uh, would be really, really fun. And it's a nice little hidden message that you get once you, uh, flip the, the heart up, um, and pull out the insert. And the mailbox, there's just so many little details. I love the little flag that's the indicator of you. I think that it technically indicates whether you're sending mail out, I believe. Um, so that lets the postal worker know that, that you've got mail that you, you want to send. But it's nice that the mailbox has a slit. The die actually puts in that slit so that you can do exactly what I've done here where I've tucked the letter in. And in fact, the letter has some slits in it too. So you can even tuck some of the heart accents and, um, and whatnot into the letter as well. I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to do this, but ultimately I decided to glue down that frontmost flap because we do have the hinge of the of the heart, and that's already kind of wanting to um, to spring open a little bit. And so I thought at least having that that flap of the pocket glued down will help everything stay a little bit more flat. So that is my final. Um, pocket card. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like and leave a comment on this video if you would like to be in for a chance to win the Love Letters die set. Um, I will announce the winner of this die set in the next video that I post to this channel in a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!